godlike, heaven bred, Turkish wise Kurgan, I have mounted my throne. Here, from the beginning to the end of my words, first and foremost, ye, my younger brothers, my brothers and my sisters' sons, and my young princes, and then all ye, my kindred and my people, ye Shadabit begs on the right, ye Tarkans and Buruk begs on the left, Otus, begs, and people of the Tokus Oguses, hearken well to these my words. Give close heed to them. Towards the east, towards the sun's rising, towards the south, towards the midday, towards the west, towards the sun's setting, towards the north, towards the midnight. Let all peoples within this circle listen to me. So far around have I disposed all the peoples. So long as the Turkish Kagan rules in the forest of Mount Otukan without the wickedness of today, the kingdom suffers no ill. To the east, I have made campaigns as far as the Shantung Plain, and almost reach the sea. To the south, I have made campaigns as far as Tokus Ersin, and almost reach Tibet. To the west, I have made campaigns beyond Yenchu Ugus, as far as Tamir Kaping. To the north, I have made campaigns as far as the land of the Yer Barikus. To all these lands have I led the Turks. The forest of Mount Otukan has no foreign overlord. The forest of Mount Otukan is the place wherefrom the kingdom is held together. While I have ruled here, I have become reconciled with the Chinese people. The Chinese people who give in abundance gold, silver, millet, and silk have always used ingratiating words and have at their disposal enervating riches. While ensnaring them with their ingratiating talk and enervating riches, they have drawn the far-dwelling peoples nearer to themselves. But after setting down near them, these have come to see their cunning. The good and shrewd men, the good and stout men, however, they have not shaken. And even if a man have fallen away from us, they have not succeeded in leading astray the sober ones within his kindred or his people. But by letting yourselves be snared by their ingratiating talk and enervating riches, many of you, Turkish folk, have gone to destruction. When some among you, Turkish folk, said, I will settle in the south, but not in the forest of Mount Chugai, but in the plain. Then the wicked men encouraged this party among you Turkish folk in this wise. When they are far away, they give bad gifts. When they are near, they give good gifts. Thus did they urge them on. The foolish persons were taken by these words and went down to their neighborhood, whereby many among you have come to destruction. If thou then go forth to that land, O Turkish nation, thou wilt come to destruction. But if thou stay in the land of Otu Khan and send out caravans, thou wilt never suffer any need. If thou stay on in the mountain forest of Otu Khan, thou shalt ever hold an everlasting kingdom, O Turkish nation, and thou shalt be full fed. When thou art hungry, thou dost not remember what fullness is. But once thou art full fed, thou hast no thought of what hunger is. Without giving heed to the words of your Kagan, of him who, thanks to those of like mind among you, has set you on your feet, ye have wandered forth from place to place, and ye have all there languished and suffered need. Those among you that have stayed behind there, all have had to go on from place to place, to life or death, under the will of heaven, and for that it was my high calling, I became Kagan. After having become Kagan, I gathered together the whole luckless people, 
the poor people I have made rich, the people small in numbers I have made a numerous one. Or is there, perhaps, any untruth in these my words? Turkish begs and peoples, hearken unto this, how thou, O oh, Turkish people, hast preserved the kingdom through being obedient. I have here written down how thou hast been divided up when thou was faithless. I have here set forth all that I had to say to you I have written down on this everlasting stone. Having obeyed this, ye Turkish peoples and begs now living, ye begs that up to now have been obedient to the throne, could you indeed wish to be found wanting? I have had the memorial stone hewn. From the Chinese emperor I have had artists to come and have set them to work. My request has not been refused. They have sent the Chinese emperor's court painters. I have bidden them set up a separate hall, and inside and out I have had them to make various remarkable paintings. I have had the stone hewn, that which lay in my heart to utter, I have had written. Understand to see this, all as far as the sons and subjects of the ten arrows. I have had the memorial stone hewn. For those of you who might have been withdrawing into winter camp, or from barren places striving towards grazing ground, I have had this memorial stone hewn in a barren place, and have written this. When ye see it, then know so much. This stone I have. He that has written this inscription is his sister's son, Yolig Tegin.